I am officially Railgun certified. So that's nice. And it will be the gun I mainly use in this level. This is my first attempt at the final level. While I'm playing this level, I'm just going to tell you about uh, some reasons why I might stop doing uh, videos where I'm just doing gameplay. First reason is that I don't normally talk while I play games unless I'm actually like with a person because there's nothing for me to really say. Oh, I'm. I'm that was a really bad start. Usually in that circle is like the easiest place to get cornered and it's actually really hard to get cornered in this map. I might make a tier list soon on uh, all the PvE mobs in this game. This thing one shots basically all the regular or most common uh, aliens, and it two shots all the uh, the aliens except for the this guy and the yellow dude, the yellow grub looking thing. So yeah, this is way more cost efficient, only costing 240 ammo to take out uh, one of these the light people, and then it takes about 3 hits for this yellow one, so that would be 360 ammo for that. I don't know how many shots it takes to take down one of these huge ones. Oh, there's an elite version of the rub. Those aren't too common. Oh, and I effed up again, I went into the corner. And I really suck while talking and playing. Also, word of advice for those who like mess up, it's that never press the restart button. The reason why is because if you ever shoot, even if you restart, that ammo is not coming back. And it's actually more worth it to just 
uh, take the extra few seconds to go to the main menu and click the level again. The reason for this is because you still get the money that you earned within the time you spent in the level, rather than just restarting. And that 8,000 I made by, by just clicking out and going back into the level is worth about 80 shots on this thing. And 80 shots is a lot. Unfortunately, I don't have any ammo saving gear. level is way harder than the second to last level even though basically one two three four have all been around the same difficulty but i guess for the last level in the game they just had to make it make the damage output for the mobs way higher i think they have slightly more health as well i'm not too sure about that though because uh, this railgun his damage output is too high to actually know uh, how many exact shots it would take to kill one of them. I am pretty sure that uh, my railgun which is upgraded is at 1650 damage per shot around that to stack and aim for the one in the back and eliminates a group of them. If they're not perfectly stacked, you could have what I just did, which yeah, eliminate most of them, but not all. better if you literally just walk away from the the beast thing I, I don't know any of the official names for these uh, aliens except for these which is the black mayfly they don't look like mayflies honestly they resemble hornets or bees or even mosquitoes way more than they do mayfly mainly because of their attack. Obviously, those ranged ones resemble scorpions a lot. And that's whatever mammal, like, 
huge predator you would find in savannah like except it's blue. You don't really find blue animals in nature other than like fancy birds. But you don't see like a blue dog or blue. The only blue you'll ever find is in plants, birds, fish, bugs. Also, in case you were wondering, uh, it's actually better to get these money things rather than the blue ones the blue capsules that drop replenish your ammo for a railgun it replenishes about one shot of worth of ammo which is useful but not really it's like oh i i missed a shot and then you would get that to help compensate or something that thing's still not dead. I heard that the Signy suit is the best for PvE in terms of like speed and whatever. I will be getting the Perseus suit. It is way more expensive though. And the reason why I'm getting the Perseus suit is because uh, it increases your power more than the Signy does. Also, the Signy's uh, full suit bonus is plus one speed and plus 15% RPG launcher damage or rocket launcher damage anyway i don't actually have any rpgs in my inventory i never bought any the only things i have is this railgun the nova the, the sword a low tier shotgun and the starter gun The elite versions are really hard to find, like they're quite rare in the spawn rates in most levels. My guess since this is the last level they're, but they're putting more of them. But they're also kind of hard to tell the difference because they're almost exactly the same in color except a bit darker and they can tank two hits from this rather than just one. Okay, yeah, this takes four hits now, which was actually three hits in the last level. I think I might do it, do this level without taking 
more than half of my HP. And as soon as I say that, this thing comes out. Okay. Good news, nothing else will spawn. So this thing on its own is extremely or relatively easy, especially when you're in an open area like this. This thing's weakness is open areas. And obviously me, because I just killed it. And I have officially beat Star Warfare. And quick screenshot. Because that is a moment worth keeping. Well, time to make my first purchase on the Perseus suit, which is this. The reason why, it gives me 10% more gold. Also, this Andromeda suit, uh, I don't like its design. I just think it looks a bit strange in my opinion. A brainiac design anyway. I don't like it. Even though its a bonus lets you re restore 10,000 HP and uh, you get 30% less damage taken in that last 15 seconds, it just doesn't look good. Also, body piece and the hand piece both cost mithril and i'm currently at 11 mithril so yeah there's no heckin way i can afford that the signy actually costs just money which is nice as i said earlier all it does is add more speed so it adds 23,000 hp and more speed and 20% more RPG weapon damage as proof. Let me show you RPG section. RPG 21, I don't have it. RPG 24, I don't have it. 31, don't have it. Black Stars is actually a really good gun in this game. I do not have it and I probably will never buy it because it's just that expensive. Now, a Perseus suit, it's quite expensive. 3 million, 2 million, 200,000, 2 million, 500,000. Oh no, it's 200, 2 million, 200,000. Okay. Still needs 7.4 million to go to afford the rest of the Perseus suit. Or do I? Okay, 7.2 million. Okay. Also, if you're wondering uh, why I don't have the where is it? The Blade Master jetpack, even though I can afford it. It is because all it does is add 40% melee attack, which is good. And is immune to uh, run has it and has be however, like I said, I only have the cutter, which is the weakest of the swords. And I maxed it out. And it's not as good. Like, not nearly as good as the other ones potentially could be. I noticed I could buy the spreader. 
This is actually tech is the last weapon you unlock in Star Warfare 2. Anyway. I could get it, but I don't need to get it right now, and I don't really want it either. However, it is a good weapon. Wait, I'm currently sticking with my 20% plus damage taken bag. This one, I don't know if it's worth it to gain 2 speed for a short time after being hit because I don't want to be hit, you know. And literally this is the last backpack you can buy that does not cost mithril. And I'm currently eyeing towards the freedom backpack. Or I would get the Jin Jingle, which is the strongest backpack in the game. Some people, or a lot of people, say that the STG, I think it, they said it was called, or the STK, is a really good backpack. Which I believe, plus 20% more power 6 bag slot, and plus 1 speed, so this is good. Obviously the Jin Jingle is better. So yeah. Anyway, I beat the game. And that's the end of the video.